Well, g'day. Time for another product review. And today, it's a Renergy Elite 40 amp MPPT charge controller, solar charge controller. Um, this is going to replace a 30 amp EP Ever PWM controller I've currently got fitted to my caravan. Um, you now I've been sort of putting off doing anything about um, an MPP because they've been expensive MPPT controllers. But these guys, um, as they do with most of their products, are reasonably priced. I've just been waiting for um, one that was a good size physically, and um, I wanted a bit more than 20 amps capacity. So, um, and they're expensive. So, once again, Renergy's come to the party. Uh, there are Renergy, for those who don't know. It's a joint venture between um, Louisiana University, or grew out of the um, technology centre there at Louisiana, Louisiana University, and they commercialised their products. So, um, but their designs are good. You know, their product is good. They're reliable. They've got all the features, I think. But they're very reasonably priced. And so, from all aspects, I don't have any issue with their products. They're very good. And they're up there with everybody else's as far as I'm concerned, apart from their customer service, which is absolutely appalling. So my recommendation, if you're thinking about buying a energy product, do not buy directly from this company because they do not communicate with anybody. And the internet is full of that. They're just really bad at customer service. The saving grace is they flog stuff through Amazon. They're not going to upset Amazon, they look after Amazon, and Amazon do look after their customers. So if you have an issue with one of these products, you contact Amazon, they send you a return materials advice, an RMA, you ship it back. Last time I shipped one back because I thought I had a fault with it, I'm not even sure that it really was a fault with it, but I had a credit issued that day and I ordered another one. So if I'd sent this back to Renergy, I could be still waiting months later, but there is no issue with Amazon. So that's overcome the biggest single hurdle they've got. They're absolutely atrocious at customer service, but you can defeat that by going through Amazon. Um, and look, I th don't repair this stuff anymore. All right, so here is the piece of equipment, and it's pretty large. This is sort of six inches by four inches by three inches, or you know. It's a it's a sizable, but it, look, it's no. It actually, I thought it was bigger than the current EP ever I'm using. So apart from being a little bit higher, it, dimensions are not ostensibly much bigger. But it's physically, um, you know, quite bulky looking, which is good. Nice big heat sink for heat dissipation. Uh, display screen on the front, which I probably won't see because this is going to be underneath a seat or something. But it's there for diagnostics and setup, etc. Uh, well appointed. From the point of view of connections, as it should be with a 40 amp, you can fit 10 mil. This is 10 mil cable, or 6 AWG will go into these connectors. And these are eights, no problems at all. So that's uh, that's good. If you've got AGM batteries, there's a battery temperature sense here. Uh, sorry, on here. Uh, so it comes with the temperature sensing probe with 10 footy cable, three meters. Um, and it's also got re remote battery monitoring so you can connect to here and run so just some light wiring to the battery if it's some distance away to make sure that this is actually reading what's happening at the battery not at the solar controller so allow for cable loss etc so there's that feature fitted to it Phillips or flat blade screwdrivers on the screws there's no load function on this uh, and let's face it 90% of the time you don't need that um, uh, yeah, so that's that. Righto. On here, we step through the screens here. There's our battery voltage. We've got a battery indicator. It's auto configures to 12 or 24 volts. So it does do both of those. It's configured to itself for 12, telling me the battery voltage. This is a cumulative kilowatt hour media, meter, telling you how much energy you've put into your battery. Uh, that's the temperature monitored by this. Um, Back to battery voltage again, 12 volts. So at the moment, we've got no amps coming in. There's a solar indicator. There's nothing showing. Um, so what have we got? Amps, 
PV volts you can see when they're on I'll show you that in a minute battery voltage it thinks it's night time you've got a little moon indicator here there's a sun indicator when it's sunshine nominal temperature cumulative watt hours now you can clear this meter uh, when you do you hold this I think and go no. anyway it tells you in, in this detailed instructions book here which is quite good lots of diagrams tables of information and, and it's it's not Chinese English it's actually English so but from uh, from this battery if you hold this you can select the battery type I've got it currently set for lithium you can select gel solid flooded lithium and um, there's the voltage to set the maximum voltage for lithium you can adjust that up and down to whatever you want to suit your batteries right no maybe hold that one yep you hold that one so there we go fairly basic it's got backlighting I don't know if you can see that um, as you push keys the backlight comes on stays on for a time and then goes off again so it's not driving you mad all night like so many other things do so we've got those features of it all right now let's see what this thing will do so 40 amps it says right for the purposes of this exercise I've got two 105 amp hour heavy duty lead acid AGM so while I've got a set for lithium which is what it's going to be on doesn't really matter for this exercise I'm just charging um, my input cable here is as I say it's 8 mil but it's only very short um, and on here I have got this power supply over the back here is a 24 volt supply of oh, this by the way um, you can get this in a 20 and a 40 uh, this meter and it is good to 100 volts from solar up to 100 volts so you can run household panels or whatever you like on it so another advantage of a four of a MPPT controller is you've got much higher voltage whereas the existing controller I have in there is limited to a 12 volt system uh, so this is a 24 volt power supply just plug that in let that fire up so this is telling me I'm at currently at um, I don't know if you can see that you possibly can't so we can zoom over there but anyway it's currently at 22.2 volts and we've got no amps all right now I will connect this power supply so here I've got a um, what heavy duty again 10 mil cable I'm going to connect that up to here so I've now got my 24 volts input you can see this is 20 it's pulled it down a little bit to 22 amps we're currently putting 0.9 in now that'll increase and you can actually see this is starting to increase here and get this thing to focus so 27 amps we're putting in here at 22 volts and down here we're seeing 40 amps exactly 40 amps going in as is so 27 amps um, from solar is generating 40 amps which is what you'd expect to see so let's just check what this is what this is telling me I'll get it off AC it'll help DC zero 27.4 27 and my power supply is telling me so we only see 
uh, amps out on the actual solar controller this is amps in and up here we're at 27.6 it varies a little bit and here we're at 20 about 27 so roughly right I'm more inclined to um, believe this meter here than the meter that's up on the power supply. Alright, let's have a look what's going out. So if we have a look at the outbound current, okay, it's saying 39.9, my clamp's telling me 37.9, 38, what's this thing saying? 40, who's correct there? God knows. Just zero this again, give it another go. 38, 39.9, so there's a bit of an error there, but you know. You get that. Alright. Let's have a look at it on a solar panel. Alright, so I've connected up um, my solar panels. Now I have fitted so you can now see it's 39 volts at the input. I have two 45 volt household panels, 200 watts, 190 watts each in parallel um, onto this. And we're at, now we're near, we're only a month off winter solstice here in uh, Brisbane in Australia and it's 10 o'clock in the morning so, um, so it's, it's pretty good, sun's in pretty much the right spot. So 15 amps is, um, is what I'm seeing there, 27 volts, so the PV here is, as you can see, is changing, which shows that um, this thing is searching for the right point to harvest the maximum current. Still changing, and it continues to do that at all times to get the maximum, and as you can see this is coming up. Yeah, so it keeps searching for maximum efficiency. So it's certainly doing what it's supposed to be doing. What's that at 18 amps? So there, there you go. Battery's got a ways to go yet. We're up to 18.3 amps. Sun's pretty much overhead, so I don't think it's going to get much better than what we're seeing at the moment. All right, anyway, the Renergy Rover Elite 40 amp MPPT charge controller. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to go and install it now, so I'm not going to do any more checks after this. Just thought I'd like to let you see it working. It does work. Works good. Well, there's a little sun symbol up there. I think you can probably see that. I forgot to point that out before. So we had the moon out before, now we've got the sun out. All right. That's it. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you later. Don't forget to give us a like. Cheers.